so welcome back today we will talk about uh, the how the test suits can be created and how we can execute it and also we can talk about how to manage the the test cases in the production uh, and also we'll see like uh, how we can do the set up the resources and how we can uh, tear down the resources we'll take one example of database operations and we'll talk about that and with the hands on so how to create like you know grouping related test cases using the test suits but go uh, doesn't have any you know built in support for the test suits but you can create it suit like structure using the regular go code itself one way to organize your test is creating the separate test file for each uh, package and grouping related test within the package test file itself and also you can use the test prefix to indicate the test functions managing setup and tear down to manage you uh, know setup and tear down of your test you can use the defer keyword to ensure that even the test cases are failed you will uh, freely releasing the resources whatever you are allocated and also we can isolate the specific packages to the test suite and maintain clean and organized testing structure <clears throat> so for organizing the test cases so we need to follow some uh, some best practices basically keep your test code organized by structuring in a similar directory hierarchy as your production code is present as same thing actually if you see in previous sessions we we created like a jamentry.go the test file also in the same directory with the jamentry underscore test.go like that naming conventions in the test cases yes we can uh, make sure that we are covered all the test cases of the functions whatever wrote in the dot go file in underscore test dot go file must have the function names test followed by the function name directory structure we already discussed it is good to maintain the the directory structure uh, uh, also for the sub directories as well with the same location actually you can create the dot underscore test dot go files as well so to make sure like you no know, the component level module level or feature level uh, you keep all the uh, test cases there itself so that it is easy to organize and manage coming to anson uh, i will try to take the uh, example for the database maybe db operations i can say so let us take the file called uh, db dot uh, db ops dot go this one actually package db ops so what we can do is we'll try to create a uh, database db okay uh it is basically this is sql uh, dot db okay 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 and then what we can do is we can write one function func called uh, setup db okay in this function what we can do is uh, we'll try to initialize the <clears throat> name of the uh, dsn basically okay uh, which is basically user followed by password with tcp connection followed by local host and assume that there is a db called my db okay so this is the actually you know database connection details we can take this one uh, let me create one error of error let us connect to db with sql dot open my sql followed by dsn okay uh it suppose if there are any errors right you can panic it okay uh 
okay so once this is done actually this is the setup well, let us do the the tear down now in the tear down what we will do is we will try to see that if db is not equal to nil we will try to know db dot close simple that's it okay we are closing the db here okay okay so we are uh, this is about the uh, db operations go file let me create uh, db ops underscore test dot go file for the testing test file basically what we will do is uh, db ops okay uh, in this one what we can do is we can write the test main function basically it will be like a uh, the structure of m basically okay we'll take this one and we can do the setup db okay and also we can defer tear down db okay yeah basically we are just uh, deferring that if any test cases fails also it should work basically i mean database connect it should be removed so what we can do is we'll uh, this this function will be supported some run method to run all the test cases within the package okay so if you want you can keep uh, uh, taking care of any other things also so we'll try to exit safely once all the things are working as expected okay so you can write your own test cases uh, for the for example funks right test uh, query interface or database here actually if you observe it you can take the testing dot t okay so here what we can do we uh, assuming that db dot uh, um, query you can run any query here maybe some query select star from table oh, assuming that uh, customer okay we can keep writing that i will let me run this test case let's see what happens okay mm -mm. what it is saying is Okay, what it is saying? Mm -mm. Okay, what it is saying? User colon password out of CTP local host double three zero six slash my db okay db sql dot db okay mm -hmm. okay what is the problem here is uh, Oh, okay. SQL dot. Oh, okay. I think uh, we didn't import the thing. One important thing here is. So we need to import something called. github.com slash go sql driver 
slash mysql okay okay i think this should work now let us uh, let us go back to the test case and then later run this okay i think that's that's all about you know the things whatever we discussed like uh, this is the db operation like resources allocation delocation can be done using the setup and you know uh, tear down uh, uh, functions basically okay thank you